We are actually making Risotto Rosso, which is by Aubrey Bennett, who you may remember she won a wild card for her lamb shank dish. She also lives in France, but she has uh, showed us a, an Italian risotto recipe which, uh, for which you begin with um, pancetta and sautéed cremini and shiitake mushrooms. And we're about to pull them out of the pan and then get going. And we have a special guest, Cesare Casella. And Ciao. <laughs> um, and I'm going to actually let you do the pronunciation of, of the Salve restaurant. Salomone Rosi, yes, <laughs> which is Cesare's restaurant on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. And as we said before, he's also the dean at the Italian Culinary Academy. And thank Grazie. you for that. <laughs> <laughs> So right. we're going to pull out, here I've got the slotted yeah. spoon at hand, exactly. so I'll do this. These are nice and brown and crisp. Meryl added shallots. I did. And now we're going to add rice, and Abra Bennett calls for carnaroli rice, which is different from the other recipe, which uses arborium. And if you see the carnaroli is more uh, longer It's rice. longer, it's shaggier yes. looking to me. It also has like a, a gray bit. tone to it, mm -hmm. the, the grains. Yeah, you're because right. Because that is a... Uh, um, the grain, in that line that you see black, yeah. they are part of the husk. Oh, so what we're doing right now is we're toasting the rice? Yes. Do you always toast the rice when you make it? I toast all the time the yeah, rice because it gives it more strong. It's so only sometimes when you have a special type of rice, mm -hmm. but it's a special. When I toast the rice, you need to be careful because you don't want to taste too much because it's Burn, like right? in the coffin. Yeah. And if you toast too much, the best way mm -hmm. to taste when the rice is ready. You cook in this way. If they are hot, like now, it's, it's ready. Yes. It's ready? No. Oh, okay. 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 So we'll add the, the ingredient that makes this risotto rosso, which is red wine. Um, so we're adding here a mixture of chicken broth and beef broth, which makes it a little bit heartier tasting. And then what you want, uh, you want to make sure the temperature, the, uh, the liquid, it's uh, the same in what you cook. Oh, okay. Because, so maybe because in that the way, if uh, because uh, if the rice. If it's a, the liquid, it's a more high, it's a no problem. Mm -hmm. But if they are colder, colder they're yes. going to stop mm -hmm. the, ta the, the, the temperature that mm -hmm. you cook in the rice. Because so what are, you see, what are you listening for? Like but like, like now, if uh, see, it's a very happy. It's happy? It's a very happy. Our result is very happy. Then, but you need, to be, you need to be very uh, careful because this is uh, like a... So is it too happy? Maybe you need to check uh, because they told you that they need attention. In fact, because the evaporation it's a lot, you need to be careful. So it's like a party. Broth. It's like if, if things are going well, you yes. can let it go, and then if, 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 the, if the noise dies down, you feel like people are bored, you pour them more drinks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or if you're going too fast, it means too loud, you kick some people out. Need to kick out. <laughs> Should I get some forks for us to taste to see if it's getting there? Or do you Great think it's, idea. Yeah? <laughs> the finger is a very hard. Yes. <laughs> Alright. a little time, but it's getting there. So we also want to add these back at some point before it's, you know, so they can, the flavors can get in a little bit. So what do I you think? think? Is it a good think, time? Yes, because at this point the pancetta, they're not going to lose anything. Right. The mushrooms are strong. Yeah. They are not. Really We're not going to get over. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. I love how all the colors are Thank you. together. Perfect. So we've got parsley. Turn off. Turn off. Put the butter the and yes. the, the cheese. Wow, we got some butter. This process is called mantecare because it's the same way you make ice cream. That looks great. Now maybe in the floor. <laughs> Wow, excellent, <laughs> bravo. You see already, only 30 seconds after, yes. the consistency, they're creamy, mm -hmm. they are no watery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks beautiful. Love it. Let's Abandoned. Abandoned. I can't Abandoned. wait. <laughs> so do you think that risotto should be eaten with a fork or a spoon? Mm -hmm. Fork, because fork. now that when you put the rice, you see enough to put it down. So when you, it, when you put the rice from a side, it's more cold. So you start to eat it from a side. Mm. Mm. So you go around. Mm -hmm. Just yes. like the stirring. Yes. <laughs> I didn't know that. Because you don't want to eat something that's too hot. Mm -hmm. Because if it is too hot, you don't taste the flavor. Right. It's very, very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us. Yes, it was so Thank great. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs>